Hello, I hope everybody's doing well today. So today I wanted to explore, I've added the ability to add an avatar to a user in uh, a little phishing app that I have. So um, right now, if I, I'm going to refresh here, I have this nice little sunfish and I want to choose a new avatar and I really like trout fishing now. Uh, it's the season for it. Just started here a couple days ago. So I want to put up this beautiful picture of a trout and we see the progress bar go across here. And I really want to know how that progress bar works. Now, one thing that we could do is I can come into uh, my dependencies and go find some different things. This looks pretty promising. This is inside of live view. It's called upload. Uh, I pulled it up here and I can go through and I can read the code. I can throw some debug statements, DBG statements at the top of a bunch of functions, see how things work. Or what I really like to do, is, and but if I do that, I have to recompile. What I really like to do is utilize these these libraries here. So Recon, um, Recon EX. Recon EX is an Elixir wrapper around Recon that um, it actually uses an older version of Recon is what it requires, but it works with the new version. So I go ahead and put in the new version of Recon and, and tell it to override. And that gives you a, a great utility called Recon Trace. So we're going to go ahead and set up a trace here. And what Trace does is you can give it a module name, uh, an MFA, basically, at the very beginning here. So I'm going to say this. I want to look at the upload module and uh, any any function and any set of arguments. And then uh, I'm going to say I just want to do like the first 12 calls. I don't know. And, and so what this does is it only runs for the number of calls that you pass in. And then I'm going to give it this argument here because I'm just using this to explore. I'm going to give it an argument to say, hey, just tell me the the arity of the function. I don't want to see what arguments are coming in right now. I just want to see how this upload module works. Right, so I, um, oh, I can't spell arity. There we go. So that 21 that it returns says that there are 21 functions that match this uh, match spec that we've put in, um, which includes the upload module and then anything. So there's 21 currently matching functions. So let's go back and run our new avatar. And uh, we'll go back to that that sunfish there. And save. All right, let's look. Oh, so it gave us a trace here. I didn't have to um, recompile and I can run this in production. I can go down through here and see all these allow, upload, put entries. I get down to there. Oh, this looks like what I want. I want to understand more about how progress works. So there's a function called update progress. So I want to dig into that a little more. I'm going to take our original thing here and we're going to say I want update progress. And then there's something else that I would like. I would really like this function to tell me what the return values are. Uh, because I want to see what this th does this function change anything? What's it do for me? I'm going to remove our our args arity, which will tell this to print our arguments. And um, I'm going to say give me five calls. I just don't want to fill up everything. So we go ahead and, and return that. Oh, only one function matches this. And let's try this again. New avatar, choose a new one. Uh, grab my trout back, save, refresh. Okay, let's look here. Now we have some calls. There are two different versions of this. I really want to see is progress called for every single percentage. <clears throat> so here's a here's a call to update progress. It take it gets a socket. Let's scroll down here and see. Um, changed. It's got an uploads in it. It says that it's changed. The progress there is 78. Uh, here's a user. There's some more. Oh, that's the end of our socket here. And then it's got some number, um, which I bet if we come up here, there we go. That's the reference for that upload. And it's saying 
I don't know what this argument is, but we can we can dig in and find out by looking up here in our uploader. Upload progress. Uh, maybe I'll, I can't remember the name of this function now. Progress. Let's just find it. Updates, update progress, not upload progress. There we go. Uh, and the uh, let's see what the arguments are. Socket, config ref, and entry ref. Uh, that's so, so it's the first entry. So it's the zero entry and then the progress going up to 100. And then here's the return. So you'll notice that this one shows the error in a little arrow here. And as we scroll down, the update says that we've changed. We went from progress 78. Um, now here's the new upload. Progress is set to 100 now, so we can see that that's what it did. And that's our return value. So this is really useful. And because of the safety and being able to say only do this for so many calls, if I can get into one of my remote consoles on production, I can use this for debugging, exploring, whatever. No recompiling, no redeploying. So try out Recon uh, and Recon X, which gives you some really nice pretty printing on top of it. Thank you all and have a wonderful day.